Saratoga Springs. We are. Our room's not ready yet. No. So we're gonna get some lunch. But when we're walking to the, the main building, I was like, wait a minute, so are those turtles? I've never seen a turtle that big before. Out in the wild. And there's two. We love, love, love Saratoga Springs. I'm going to put two different playlists from our old YouTube channel, the Fab 5207, because this is actually our third time staying here. Sweet little trees. Oh my gosh, those are cute. I don't think I've seen those. I have always loved the portraits of all the Disney horses over there. Such an underrated resort, and this is such an underrated quick service. So we have seen these really cute um, storybook notebooks, but not these or this enchanted one. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. They're in the outfits from their little slumber party. So we're outside, room's still not ready, and there was a line at the front desk, so I'm not gonna go talk to them. They'll give us a push notification. Um, we'd be doing this regardless if our room is ready right now or not. We're mobile ordering artist palette. James is snoozing away in the, in the best net. I love vacation mode. Yes, and this, it is beautiful out. It is utterly beautiful. I got my leg popped up here like I'm at home. I think you're doing it. I think I'm doing it. We got a Saratoga salad. Look at that. It has lemon poppy seed dressing. Got a maple or a bourbon. Pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake. cheesecake. With a brownie. Brownie, just your standard Mickey Mouse brownie. And a hot ham and cheese. And a cup of joe right yeah. here. We're gonna do halvesy halves. Not on the cup of joe, cup of joe's all mine. Okay. Oh, and I got Coca-Cola. Delectable. So good. I think we need to. Can we look on Black Friday? They'll see if there's a panini press. I feel like you and I would really cherish a panini press. I just know this pull apart's gonna be so good, so I had to, I had to vlog it. Ooh, delicious. I hope. Ooh. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten Sarah's initial reaction of biting into that sandwich. She actually said yesterday that she'd been missing ham. And that Sarah's mom, one of the traditions that we didn't do is like, Sarah's mom actually makes a salad similar to that for Thanksgiving. Right, where it's got cranberries and apples. Mm hmm. And the salad. And she also usually has ham for breakfast. And I was like, should we get ham? And I was like, no, we're doing like good halvesy halvesy. And we had our holiday sandwich yesterday. We could just burst in the, a ball of joy. So our room is in the springs. This is a preferred location. Like we booked it like a studio preferred. Yeah, okay, we're on the first floor. I'm excited. Welcome home. Welcome home, James. This is your DVC. Look at these buttons. This is a fan control. Look at that fancy fan. Oh my gosh, this is an updated room. Look at that headboard. Look oh, at that Mickey helmet. My. It's a. It's Total. a. No, it's a. Um, well, what is it called? Murphy. Oh my goodness. Aww. So cute. And this secluded little view. I like this. Like, not to have the parking lot, but to have this. Well, there's a bus going by. You see that, right? Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. We think James is, is he waking up? Yeah. Show off your cool shirt. Oh gosh. Good morning. Not every day you wake up in a DVC Disney room, huh? Hey! <laughs> Are you happy? Yes. Yay. Oh, you know, just when you have a literal less than 24 hour, just one night stay, this is the kind of emotional, physical baggage you bring as a Brookhart to DVC. Can I have your snack? 
Gotta have snacks, gotta have clothes, gotta have your baby stuff, gotta have other baby stuff, gotta have more snacks, and gotta have a board game. I'm so excited that they're gonna show the Christmas fireworks this time. Yeah. Because the other night when we were at Animal Kingdom Lodge with Steve and his family, it was just happily ever after. But now it's Minnie's Christmas Extravaganza Ultimate Express. Mm -hmm. So 6.30, 8.30, and 10.30 are the show times on the TV of the pre-recorded. So I can't wait. Before we got super settled in, we did want to thank Jess for gifting us these points for us to say they are going to expire for her. And she was just so like excited for us to be able to use them and to not let them go to waste. So. I want to say thank you from James because I, I don't even view this as as for us. It's like for James. It's right. His first yeah. night in a Disney resort ever so in his special. whole life. So thank you so much, Jess. Thank you. I really We're like, I can't even like. I wish I could bottle how I feel right now, and like go back to that feeling whenever I need to. And share it to the whole world. <laughs> yeah. We literally may not leave here except for food. Yeah. We got some great Disney TV going on. I'm all unpacked. We have. James here, Sarah below, I'm over here. Stroller's tucked away, James is still eating. Have our little aesthetic of everything awesome up there. Got my running stuff, bags, ticket to ride, dock a tot. So cute little jeans. I wanna show you the cool, the bathroom setup for the studio. Pretty awesome. And I really like the shower setup. I just really like the sliding, the hanging sliding doors for the shower. And the only difference like the thing I wish was different about DVC Studios compared to every other orientation is you get a kitchenette so you get the plastic cutlery and everything but I brought a cheese carving knife and the cheese left over or blocks of cheese left over from Thanksgiving and we have visitors coming soon he's so sleepy again he's having a sleepy day but he's growing so mm -hmm. those calls for sleepy days it's my sleepy baby not gonna lie, this is a beautiful view, beautiful weather. A little emotional. This is uh, something I've been uh, thinking and dreaming about for a very long time is to do some balcony hangouts with my children because this is what I, my favorite aspect of a Disney resort is having a cup of coffee on the balcony. I just brewed a pot of decaf and just soaking up the sights and sounds of the resort, hearing families and buses and animals and wind and critters and water. So it is six o'clock. It's now dark out. The night is young though. Sarah and I love that artist palette so much that we're going back there for dinner, I think. Because our friends arrived. Hey -o. Hey -o. Megan walks in and we say, do you want to hold James? She goes, I don't want him to cry. She <laughs> holds James for like about 40 minutes <laughs> so and was cold. snug as and a bug. And we're like, because he had <laughs> a dirty so diaper funny. and was hungry. <laughs> now he's chilling again. But that pillow is like heaven. I was very happy. I can't even take him off of that pillow successfully without keep without yeah. with keeping him comfy. He likes his pillow. But I realized I got pecan pie on it. <laughs> That's what it was? Yeah. Was that good? Oh my goodness. The dream lights. The only time I've seen this was with me, these two girls last year. I'll put in a clip. <laughs> thought that this is how we'd be watching it this year. Oh, I love it. And it's no wishes, but I love it. All right, we tried to do the wing sling, ring word, weird thing. Peter keeps calling it a ringworm. <laughs> you let's look at that ear. That's my ear for sure. Yeah. Okay, and they say like, like you need to be able to see all of his features and that you can just like bend your head down. My like name this. is Merda. All right, so we made it back to Artist Palette. We were such big fans for lunch, we're having it for dinner. We adjusted him a little bit. We gotta get used to it. He's gotta get used to he it. He got used to it a little bit on the walk over. Yeah. Look at that, that's a happy boy. We got all the food and Sarah and I are boring. We got the exact same thing we got earlier. It was so good. It was so good. So good. And this time, James is sleeping on Sarah rather than in that but instead I used it as storage and I shoved it full of utensils and napkins. What did you two get? Chicken nuggets and the ham sandwich. Nice. You're not gonna regret that ham sandwich or the chicken nuggies. 
They have a Lion King one plane over yonder. And I think I'm gonna hike up my pants and at least wait in the zero entry part before we leave. We're in the water. Yeah, actually just nugging it myself are. But it's colder than we expected, so I'm kinda glad we chose not to. We thought about going to Target and getting James a new one and like waterproof diapers, but time was of the essence. Um, this boy is a rock star, and Sarah's rocking this. It's just so nice to have him so close and cozy and not have to check on him. I can feel if he's breathing, so I just feel him. And it's not as anxious. And then we got a little a little thing of milk because Megan and Katie brought a bunch of hot chocolates that we're gonna try. Tricks on me, I told everybody that it was 9.30 and we were like trying to figure out last minute plans before the night ends. Uh, it's actually 8.30, now it's 9 o'clock, but we're back. Megan and Katie brought a bunch of different kinds of hot chocolate. I went and bought a half gallon and we're microwaving it up and making some hot cocoa. Lando Lakes is the best hot chocolate. Well, look at this. Mr. Snug is a bug in a rug. First Disney Resort stay. He's like that because I came back. I'm back from hanging with Eve. And we spent a few minutes on the balcony with the door open. Um, He's waking up, I think. I haven't seen him in And so then the long. sprinklers came on. Yeah, sprinklers <laughs> came on, so we had to come inside. And there was a snail. A big snail. I truly can't express enough how amazing it is to look at this screen and then turn this way and see this image here. I literally waited my whole life and I've had countless conversations with that amazing woman and many friends and family. Thank you again, Jess, for... Um, giving us your expiring points. We, it may seem like we did nothing much here, but we did the part that people, I think, cherish truly the most about DVC, that maybe doesn't isn't talked about a lot, which is just enjoying the time with your loved ones and enjoying the resort itself. Um, not concerning yourself with the hustle and bustle of a Disney vacation, but just hanging out and being with each other. So it's 1.30. I might try to just pull this treadmill down and let them sleep like that and wait till James wakes up for more food or change. Um, so I'm gonna sign off now and we're gonna have an exciting, we have like a pretty busy day planned tomorrow, but it's like busy, but not overwhelming because it's in multiple parts. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. This was an amazing, amazing day and room this room has changed our perspective of Saratoga. We think it's our top one or potentially two um, like awesome bang for your buck DVC value, um, potentially beating Old Key West. Anyway, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.